I'm Doug Williams with Farpoint. This is part two of our series on dovetail plates. As I said before, dovetails are used to attach one piece of equipment to another. They come in two different widths and a variety of lengths. This is the D size, made popular by Lost Mandy and for heavier duty applications. They're four inches wide. This is the V size, made popular by Vixen. They're 1.7 inches wide and they're used for lighter duty applications. Usually which one you pick is going to depend a lot on what fits on your mount. So the saddle plate on your mount might determine that. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install this D size dub plate onto a Mead 10 inch telescope right here. All D size dovetails require radius blocks and screws to attach to your OTA. You can attach your dovetail either to the bottom of the scope or to the top of the scope. Notice that this Mead 10 inch already has a dovetail on the bottom and that's what we would use to attach it to the mount. I'm going to install this additional dovetail to the top so we can mount some accessories on the top. All D series dovetails require radius blocks and screws to attach to your OTA and these may vary depending on what telescope they will be attached to. Farpoint sells D sized dovetails as a kit that includes the required radius blocks and screws. The radius blocks are interchangeable. They can go on either the front or the back of the OTA. The exception is the Celestron 8, which has a radius strip on the back and a spacer puck in the front. The radius blocks are not directional. They can face either way. Here I flipped the radius block around just because I wanted to see our Farpoint logo. It is important to use the correct radius blocks. Many radius blocks look alike, but they do not fit alike. Radius blocks are specific to the OTA and are not interchangeable. Sometimes the parts may vary depending on the year that the same brand and size OTA was manufactured. Correct screws are also important. Too short a screw or the wrong threads and your dovetail will not be secure. Too long and the screw may protrude into the OTA and damage your mirror. Be very cautious when buying parts from the hardware store. Be absolutely sure that you have the correct screw. Using the correct Farpoint kit is the safe way to go. Just snug the screws down securely. Don't crank them down too tightly or you risk damaging your OTA. You can use light duty Loctite if you are really concerned about the screws coming loose. Or a little beeswax on the threads also helps hold the screws tight and lubricates the threads as well. Again, note that you can mount your dovetail on either the top or the bottom of the OTA. Mount the dovetail on the bottom of the OTA if you want to attach it to the saddle plate on your telescope mount. Mount the dovetail to the top of the OTA, like I'm doing here, if you want to use the dovetail to hold accessories.